In our next video, Energy 4, is going to be on oscillations. Um, definition of oscillation is a repeated motion. And if I graph it, it might look something like this, say position versus time. I'm going to start out here maybe and then go down and just keep repeating itself like this. Okay? Now, if you think about um, what you learned in trig, that type of graph is a cosine graph. So um, you could say that it fits that type of an equation. Now, um, two things that do this are springs and pendulums. So we're going to talk about springs on this half. pendulums on this half of the page. And they both exhibit this oscillating motion, so they're going to have a lot of things in common. We're going to start out by drawing a spring over here. And, okay, we have like a ring stand or something. And then we have a spring. And there's its equilibrium position. And then we're going to put a weight on it. Okay, and it's going to come to that point. Then we're going to pull it down here and call this point A, and then let go of it. It's going to come back to the equilibrium position, and we're going to call that point B, and then it's going to continue upward. It's going to shoot past that equilibrium position and end up at a high point up here. We're going to call that point C. Now, at A, I pull it down. It's at rest there, and I'm going to let it go, so its velocity is zero. Its Ke is zero and its PE is a maximum when it's at that point. It also is where it has the biggest force pulling it back up. Now, once it gets up to equilibrium, now its velocity is a max. Its KE is a max. And its PE is a minimum. And the force on it right at that point is zero restored force. Then up at the top, okay, so it continues upward until it comes to rest. So right at the top, velocity is zero, the Ke is zero, um, the Pe is in a max, and um, the restoring force is also at a max. So it just keeps doing that. It keeps changing back and forth. At A, it's all Pe. At B, it becomes kinetic energy. At C, it's back to Pe. And then it goes back to B where it's Ke, and then back down to where it's Pe, and it just keeps switching back and forth. So if I was to graph this, and I'm going to do it in three different colors, so you may want to do the same thing. The first thing we'll do is graph um, like its height, so its y position versus time. It starts out here at a minimum, okay, at A, and then goes up, and comes back down, and just keeps doing that. Now I'm going to mark some points here. I'm marking the points where it's at the equilibrium position. And now I'm going to graph energy and time. Okay, first we'll do the potential energy. So PE will be in red. All right, um, so. It starts out at A, it has a lot of PE and zero KE, so it's starting out with lots of potential energy. When it gets to point B here, all right, this is point B, when it's at equilibrium, now it's lost its potential energy and it's turned into kinetic. So it's going to look something like this. Okay? Then when it gets back to this point right here, now it's all potential energy because that's C, the highest point. So it goes like this, and then it goes back down to zero again um, when it gets to equilibrium. And it just keeps doing that over and over again. So that's what the potential energy is going to look like. The kinetic energy, I'm going to do in a different color. You could use a different color or a different symbol. But the kinetic energy is doing the opposite. Um, at point A, which is right here, the kinetic energy is at a minimum, or the kinetic energy is zero. And then it goes up until the equilibrium position, which is here. 
it has a maximum. So it's going to look like this. Okay, and then it's going to go down. But then it's going to go back up again. Down. Back up again. And down. Back up again. So like that. So that's our kinetic energy. And if I look at the total energy, I'll use green for that. That's just flat like this. Okay, so what's happening is um, we're just switching back and forth between kinetic and potential energies. Now, if I was to look at it, oh, and I do want to say one other thing. There's a, kind of a random equation for the period of a uh, spring, how long it takes to go back and forth. And the period of the spring is equal to 2 pi square root um, m over k. Okay, so that's one that we have to know. So the period is till it repeats, so that would be this time right here. Okay, from when it went to this point to that point. T s. Now, for a pendulum, that's going to look like this. Okay, follow this point A, that point B, and that point C. Here, it has a maximum, maximum PE, and the KE is a minimum, or actually a zero. And then at point D, that potential energy is turned into uh, kinetic energy, so PE is a min, KE is a max. And then it swings up to point C, where um, the PE is a max, and the KE equals zero. We'll have the same type of graph instead of being y uh, versus time. It might be if this call it angle theta, theta versus time. All right, we're going to start out at point A up here, and then we're going to go down to the equilibrium position and just oscillate back and forth like that. And I'm not going to bother, but we'd end up with the almost the exact same type of graph here. Okay. It starts out, it's all potential energy um, at this point. It turns into kinetic energy at this point, back to potential, to kinetic, to potential, to kinetic, and so on. And the equation for the period of a pendulum is going to look very similar. It's going to be 2 pi square root L over G. And the period of the pendulum would be the time it takes to repeat. So if I start here and up there, that time would be the period of the pendulum.